Hey guys, and welcome back to more Sticks, Master of Shadows. We're in Zone 2 of Reminiscences. Oh my god. Fucking weird. I gotta get me some armor. Yeah. Ah, that, that would straighten me out. Down there, maybe? So Sticks really needs some amber. So that's what we're gonna have to find. But anyway, I'm gonna show you the difference between a loud kill and a quiet kill. Fascinating. Ah, uh, quite so, my dear colleague. I'd be willing to give my complete edition of the Encyclopedia of Mycology for the right to dissect one. You're telling me? But hey, one doesn't dissect the embryos of one's political allies, I suppose. So that's what I thought it was. They are elf children. So, anyway, loud kill. And then a quiet kill. So, any enemies near also make a noise, but you could hear, if you listen closely, that he made a noise as well, and how little noise that second guy made. So, I think you can sneak by them, but it's good to kind of show you guys. peek through the keyhole just to make sure the way is clear. So I'll make sure that there's no one there. Perfect. Unlock the door. Oops, sorry, wrong button. Open the door. And there's Amber. our Amber. I gotta get some now. So Amber is kind of like mana. It lets you access your magical powers. They're not really magical, but. So this gives us our first ability. I'm just gonna quickly grab this coin first. So one thing I'm gonna show you about this is that when you cr create a clone, well, I got no choice. I'll need some help. He becomes like a second one of you, but to control him, you um, lose control of your main character. So it can be useful to hide your main character. Cash. I need your run. So, you can either return to your creator and leave the clone, or you can just destroy the clone. And when you destroy the clone at the bottom, you see you get your amber back. I'll just show you a second interesting use for the clones here. Let's make a new one. If a clone dies, I think you lose the amber. But, that's fine. You could take a clone, use it to distract a guard. You know that. Okay. And then, once you've killed it, you can use it to kill the guard. So, we did lose some amber doing that, but that guard wasn't probably going to move otherwise, so. We could hide him in the tunnel, but no one comes by here. Also, there's nothing up there. That's another place we could find hit him, but fuck, it's gigantic here. Hmm. I'll have to use the amber vision to find my way. So, amber vision is the other way. It uses a bit of amber, and but it lets you discover a whole bunch of new um, areas and items. See, so better here. You can see that's an item. Torches. That's an item you can interact with. A lot of stuff. So, however, here we want to be very careful because enemies can now detect us. So, we're out of the tutorial. This is all us now. So, let's just hold and unlock. Actually, maybe we'll unlock this. And maybe we'll just save here. Maybe I'll explore a bit and see if there's stuff we can discover over there. Why don't we do that? This is the area we need to go, but yeah. Someone there. Oop. Okay, so he will. I think I knocked over the table is why he heard me. Maybe not. Let's load it and see if he still hears me if I hide right as I go. 
So there's some ammo there, but I'm just gonna leave it there just in case we decide to use some. So there's also a stealth ability that I haven't mentioned. But So I thought we're just gonna try to collect a couple of the coins. I don't know if we're gonna go for all the coins, but I think we'll go for some at least. So that's <laughs> There's a dead guy lying there. How can I get up there? Climb up here? Perfect. Oops. Climb up to here. Oops, shoot. That's, <laughs> that's the invisibility thing I was talking about. I accidentally used up a whole ton of amber. Well, I was looking at just what all the items are. Okay, so I can unfasten this thing. I bet it just drops that. And I have no reason to do that, so. Oh, perfect. He's moved. Also, now that I've. You <laughs> now that I use that, I may as well take some amber just in case I need it. Perfect. Let's muffle that guy. Just so he doesn't get in my way. Okay. Drop him here. Grab this. Okay. There's a guy over there. Everything wears out so fast here. It makes you wonder if there isn't some sort of crap in the air. Corrosive stuff, like. Okay, so there's that guy. I wonder if I can just sneak by him. Something's making a noise over there. <laughs> Something's making a noise over there. Okay, so since we're not falling on carpet, we're making a noise. I wonder what times we press that. Anything? Oh, it shut out some of that corrosive gas I think they are mentioning. That's useful. Anything on their bodies? No. Well, this this guy's body, I can go in. Oops, wrong button. Hide his body. Okay, so if I hide bodies in there, I can't hide in there myself. So, is there any items over there? I guess I can explore this area a lot more freely now. How far does this extend? Oh yes, come on over here into the into the fog. Okay, mm, anything over there? Doesn't look like it. This is a good idea. A no. Can't even pick it up because of the <laughs> max light vial vials. I don't even know if I really hide it. I just want to know if you can hide bodies in here. You cannot. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Where is this lead? Just over here? Okay. It's a neat little tunnel. Okay. So it leads to several places. Cool. So I'm just looking for those coins. But I don't see any more of them around. 
That is a drop. No, nothing. Come on, there has to be at least one of them in here. There we go. Makes her worthwhile. Here I'm stuck now because I know there's no one else in this gas. Seem to get rid of all the humans. So that's kind of a quick, a quick perusal and didn't see anything more. So we saw up there, and that's actually what I was going for. Oh, I guess I could grab this. What happens if I let him fully see me? He will also die from the gas. That's good to know. So there's one guy there. There's no carpet, so I can't drop down silently. But if I use the door... Let's just drop down. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> I thought E said drop. I did press E. Okay. Nothing to get from him. Okay. He doesn't have anything hidden here. No. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I want to take him out silently. You guys actually don't know this, I've already done this part, so I actually know what I'm going for here. Because there's another guy in that room. And I found if you drop on him, like right on him, you can silently kill him. Or you can kill him either way. So, right there. Oh, last time it actually got the kill for me, but well, this is fine. Stab, stab, stab. So, perfect. And there is a health and an amber. So, um, we're max on Val's amber we can carry. Or <laughs> rather the other way of health so we'll just head here there's probably more stuff we can find so won't we keep on looking out so we had to go into I'm sure that's all the stuff over here okay, go through. so how does this work because I know you can drop these I got oh that's probably with the throwing knives No, let's head on through here. It's probably the area we've already been to slash from, but let's quite quickly save here as well. Because I've made great progress, we wouldn't want to die or something to happen. So I've tried to jump to that pipe before and it didn't work. There's no one below me, so in fasting that wouldn't be a great job. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, you just have to be very precise. <laughs> Cause yeah, I fell and I fell halfway down there and quite severely injured myself. Put it that way. So there's a coin down there. Hmm. He sees me from up there. This, okay, if someone saw me here, I would definitely give it to him. Oh, 
<laughs> the body almost dropped off there. So I'm just gonna hide him in here. No one can find him because it's gassy. So, but anyway, guys, I think we'll call this an episode. <laughs> There's lots more to do around here. So thanks, guys. We'll be do more exploring in the next one. Thanks, guys. Later.